So what we're reporting on today, Simworks Ride Entertainment have revealed a brand new subway themed dart ride experience concept called Metro of Time. <laughs> Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shardogs, the Bob Bob Bill for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News update from Simworks. Now these are a ride operational company uh, that create really cool dart rides and 4D cinemas. They do some fantastic stuff. Uh, they've created 4D specific films for 4D cinemas. Um, I believe it was Simworks that did some work. Oh, I say 4D experience at Alton Towers and uh, Angry Birds 4D at Thorpe Park and you know some of the 4D cinemas we've seen in the UK parts today. I believe Simworks were working with them on that. And of course, I believe Simworks were involved in part of Darren Brown's Ghost Train, if I'm not mistaken, at Thorpe Park Resort as well. So Simworks have done a lot of projects here in the UK and abroad as well. And they've just revealed a brand new dart ride concept. I've got information from the article, which tells you a lot about the, the story of the ride. And also we've got some statements that are gonna, uh, from Simworks themselves that's going to tell you about this ride. So you've got a Simworks statement perspective on the attraction and you've got a detailed description of the attraction and the flow of the story of the ride as well. So we've got two different perspectives on this brand new dark ride concept which we're going to be revealing to you now uh, underneath all these new concept images which I'm going to put on your screen. Full credit to the images goes to Simworks themselves. Um, I've seen the concepts off camera and they look fantastic so I really can't praise you enough for those brilliant concept images that look fantastic. So let's get those concept images on your screen now, find out with Aussie and let's get on it then. So let's start with Simworks describing themselves about this Metro of Time. So Metro of Time offers a range of immersive experiences taking passengers on a journey through four forgotten eras including a prehistoric country safari, exploring ancient Egyptian tombs in search of lost treasures, a medieval adventure to rescue a princess, and an exciting chase through the Old West. The Old Wild West. Uh, when a mysterious geomagnetic storm strikes and disruptions occur, guests are encouraged to hurry into the cars to leave the station. But they do not know that they have not yet escaped the storm. At each destination, the walls open up with a huge projection surface that combined with the vehicle mounted screens creates a truly compelling and com uh, a really truly compelling story. Uh, now it also says with full store show control, optional effects and built in AV systems, Metro of Time is an ideal solution for those looking for a twist on traditional 4D cinema. It's also available in single or multiple units offering different options for venues of all sizes depending on the requirement. It's a great addition to the Simworks product range and perfectly complements our other attractions. So that's a statement, that's all the co collected statements from Simworks and the people in Simworks themselves. Now we're going to look at a detailed description of the attraction, not from their website but from a news article reporting on the new concept. So the attraction offers four unique 4D cinemas with Metro theme, available individually or in several variants with a capacity of 40 people each. The fully themed trolleys each feature three DOF motor seats, surround sound audio, onboard special effects and seven LED windows that transport the passenger anywhere the operator's imagination wants them to go. Before boarding the subway, guests are guided through a pre-boarding experience designed to make the typical way to a subway station entertaining. And as they set off, things start to go awry and the train takes a detour. So that is the detailed description as well as the press statements from Simworks and the people working at Simworks on the brand new concept, Metro of Time. Now, I'm, I'm going to be quite controversial with this statement. What, what do I think could work with that dark ride system. What, what, what dark ride is getting a lot of criticism still and I think could work better than the current system with the VR. Darren Brown's Ghost Train. I'm sorry, some people love Darren Brown's Ghost Train. I like it, but don't love it. I think when the VR, VR works, when everything works, it's fantastic. But when there's bits going wrong, 
it just doesn't feel right. So if they were to replace that Dark Rise system in the future, or if Darren Brown distances himself from the project in the future, and they decide to put a brand new Dark Ride in there without the VR system, especially since they've removed the VR from Galactica at Alton Towers, I think it's only a matter of time before the VR gets removed from Darren Brown's Ghost Train, and they sort of find a way through that, and sort of make it a better Dark Ride without the VR. I would like this Metro of Time system. I think with the current train system, yes, it's an illusion uh, based on Darren Brown, but I'd personally like to see this Metro of Time. I think it would be a very good dark ride system to use in the future, especially if you theme it to the Thorpe Junction. You sort of like, right, we have to get on the, the train here at Thorpe Junction and you sort of get taken through time, especially if you locate it in the jungle. You know, it's this old abandoned magic train ride. Um, like a train, like the train through times sort of theme we go for. It would fit with the jungle as well because it's like seeing an old abandoned Thorpe Junction railway station in the middle of the jungle, and you sort of get taken through and transported in this abandoned train uh, through to different time zones. So I think it would work better than Darren Brown's Ghost Train works in that sort of jungle dockyard area. Um, so I personally believe that could be an option. Another. Uh, way this could work is Alton Towers. Now, like I said, they have worked with SimWorks before on the Ice Age 40 experience, uh, which was removed just a few years ago for the Towers Loving Care program. Um, and of course, that theatre hasn't been used since. Fingers crossed we get something in the new world of David Williams opening next year, spring 2020. Make sure you go check out our news update when we reported on the new world of David Williams opening when it was announced yesterday. Um, so, yeah. Me personally, I'd like to see Alton Towers go for this dark ride system maybe in the future. Uh, if they want to do another dark ride, maybe use the Project 42 building and sort of uh, stick it in there. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, or just somewhere else in the park. Uh, I think Drayton Manor would do really cool with this. I think this is a great family dark ride. And I think with the target audience being the family market, I think this dark ride could be a real option for Drayton Manor. Not to replace the haunting. God no! I think there'll be many criticisms of the haunt uh, of the haunting being removed. They'll get they'll get a load of critics about that because it is still one of the better attractions. The haunting. Um, I think stick it somewhere else in the park, like with the Alton Towers with their dark rides. Stick it somewhere else in the park, um, as well as so you got Drayton, Thorpe, Alton. I think Lightwater could do wonders with this. I think if they had like a um, like because they had the old skate cart site next to Raptor Attack. I think they could really, um, really put the uh, sort of do like an extension to the Raptor Attack story and build uh, build a big building uh, where skate carts is. If they want to remove Twister, uh, the coaster, then that's fine by me as well. Uh, remove that opens up a huge space where they can build a massive building uh, for this dark ride experience. There's a lot of UK parks and European parks that have this experience that would make their park even better than it already is. So I'm not going to go through all the options because there's too many to choose from, but that's just sort of what I'm thinking here. So there we go. So that's the look at the Metro of Time at SimWorks. Comment down below what parks you'd like to see uh, with this dark ride experience coming to it. Um, can you suggest any parks outside of Europe that would benefit from this attraction? Would Six Flags like to cut cut this attraction like they do with the D Battle for Metropolises, the 43 spins, etc.? Send it to multiple Six Flags parks? You never know. Um, make sure you go check out our other news update earlier from today uh, on Movie Park Germany. And make sure you stay tuned tomorrow for an update from Valley Fair. My name is Coach Chow. Make sure you like the video if you've loved it, comment your thoughts and theories down below, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video, and keep on the coast of life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, have an awesome day my friends.